Lope and Nidak Minster welcome you to this broadcast of High School Boys Varsity Basketball on NK Toko Sports. We are here at Laramie High School where the Jackson Center Tigers will take on the Fort Laramie Redskins. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Crown Equipment Corporation, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winner's Meats, Sydney Ogles Audiology, Precision Strip, Wagner's IGA, and NK Telco. Welcome here live at Fort Laramie High School. We're taking a look at the teams preparing for tonight. We got a good game between Jackson Center and Fort Laramie in the Shelby County Athletic League. My name's Brandon Coven, and to my right is John McCumber. And John, taking a look at the Jackson Center Tigers, pretty successful year under longtime head coach Scott Elker. You know, sitting about 500 in the Shelby County League, but they're stacked with good talent here again this year. They are. They definitely are. They're led here by a couple guys. Uh, number five, Carson Regula. He's averaging about 12.1 points a game with a 45% field goal shooting percentage. And then I've got number 12, Molenauer. Now, Molenauer's got 13.1 point, 13 .1 points per game, but he's also got 6.6 .6 rebounds per game, which I really like. And those guys there have been key cogs for them. And take a look on the flip side here, the Fort Laramie Redskins. You know, they've dominated uh, outside of conference play. have done really well. Only one loss outside the Shelby County League. But we know, you know, both of you and I are Shelby County guys. We know how tough the league is. They're sitting with the same record as the Jackson Center Tigers uh, in the county standings. But they defeated Jackson Center the first time. And uh, eighth-year head coach Corey Brenton has got his team playing well lately. That is true. That is true. They are having some great success there with number 11, Caleb Maurer, who's averaging 12.2 points a game. Um, another one is Ty Ruinkamp. Again, with that motion pick two offense, it's very impressive to see him shoot the ball at a 9.2 per game uh, percentage there, as well as points per game. And, you know, taking a look at both teams here, just kind of a general recap here. It's going to be a tight battle. We anticipate a low-scoring battle. And, you know, it's, it's going to be important tonight that both teams rebound and have patient possessions. Rebound and the turnover margin is going to be huge. To make sure that when they have that ball, they get one shot. Obviously, the defense wants to transition it quick. But offensively, they need to get the rebounds and keep going hard at that basket. All right, that's our recap there for our pregame. We'll take a break and come back with the starting lineups and keys and tip-off here next on NK Telco Sports. Lift your career to new heights with Crown, an innovative global leader in the material handling industry with over a 75-year history of growth and success. We're seeking career-minded candidates for a wide variety of entry-level and skilled positions in our new Bremen, New Knoxville, Salina, Minster, and other U.S. locations. Visit crown.jobs to apply or find us on social media by searching careers at Crown. Are you looking for a new career with amazing growth potential? NEDEC Press and Automation is hiring for many positions right now. NEDEC is a global company that is growing with its sights on being a billion dollar company. Machinists, service technicians, human resource personnel, IT specialists, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, and many more. The opportunities abound at NEDEC Press and Automation. Go to MinsterJobs.com now to get started on your new career with NEDEC. Clope Corporation, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road Class A CDL driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package as an equal opportunity employer and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopay.com slash careers. Here at Fort Laramie High School here getting ready for our Sydney Ogles audiology starting lineups here tonight at Fort Laramie as a PA announcer. 
goes through our, our respect the game mantra that the Ohio High School Athletic Association likes to promote throughout the course of the season. Let's take a look at our starting lineups brought to you by Sydney Agles Audiology for the Jackson Center Tigers. It's number three, sophomore Lucas Hartle. Number four, junior Nolan Fart. Number five, senior Carson Regula. And number 12, Jace Mullenhauer. And number 34, Camden Reese, head coach of the Jackson Center Tigers, is Scott Elkert. And Jackson wearing their alternate row grays, which look pretty sharp tonight. And now for the hometown Fort Laramie Redskins, their starting lineups brought to you by Sydney Agles Audiology. As we go with little 1990 Chicago Bulls with the starting lineups here. And you know, with the girls team last year, they actually dimmed the lights down for this portion. Not doing that for the guys tonight. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> well, well, now here we go. Here soon. we go. On, on cue, John. There it is. <laughs> Keeping <laughs> us on our toes here. Number 11, junior Caleb Maurer. Senior, number 21, Ty Ruinkamp. 5'10", junior, number 33, Aiden Werman. And so we got a little pause here. Number 44, Isaac Rotterman, Jr. He is a junior. And a six foot three wing, number 23, Logan Number 23, Eilerman. Logan Eilerman. The Redskins are coached by eighth year head man, Corey Britton. As we get started here, let's take a look at our Keyhole Pizza, Keys to the Game, brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. First, John, for the Jackson Center Tigers. Jackson's got to focus a lot on the rebounding on both sides of the ball. Um, the efficient with scoring changes, that needs to happen as well as where their opportunities need to happen too. Containing the dribble penetration of Fort Loramie is going to be big for them. And for the Fort Laramie Redskins. Rebounding again, as always, on both sides. Forcing turnovers to make sure they get those good shots. And then that transitions us into that final one, the good shot selection. And our keys to the game brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. As Eilerman and Reese meet center court here for what was a close battle the first time. Yeah, it was. Should be a, a great one this time, John. Yes, it definitely was. Earlier in the year, too. And as Shelby County always plays that special double round robin, Jackson Center starts with the ball left side. It's Camden Reese. Reese trying to go through that patient Jackson Center offense by co Coach Scott Elkert. Right side, Regula. Regula looking for a cutter on the inside. Is it over to Fark? Fark near the edge of the Redskin logo. Left side, Mullenauer. Mullenauer weighing his options, going through the offense, goes over to Fark. Fark right side. Good address defense by Rune Camp there. Going on the inside, Mullenhauer shot no good on the inside. And Fort Larmy with the rebound. Jackson Center coming out playing man-to-man -man defense. Left side is Logan Eilerman. Eilerman up to Maurer, right side Rotterman. Rotterman going through the offense, gives it up over to Rune Camp in the corner. Werman. Werman, a little crafty junior guard. Back up over to Ty Rune, Camp Lone Senior in the starting lineup. Left side, Worman. Worman gets a high ball screen. Worman going in the lane. Worman gets a foul on Jackson Center. That's going to go on number three, Lucas Hartle. Mm -hmm. That was a great drive by Worman, too. Figured at that point he might pull up for that mid range jumper. And that's why I think Hartle cuts him off and fouls him there, too. <laughs> ball tipped, and it's a turnover there on Fort Lormy. Their first of the night, and just hand that right back, maybe. Let's nope. see the officials see. confer. Oh, oh. And they're going to confirm the uh, Jackson Center turnover. Yep. It's Coach Corey Britton about 
grab the official right there in front of him just to get a little talking to and say, oh, where was that at? <laughs> Hand went the other way. It happens. It definitely happens. Both teams trade turnovers there on that on those two possessions. Six and a half minutes remaining. No score yet. Mauer goes left side. Ruin camp. Ruin camp weaving through the patent Larmy weave offense. Ruin camp top of the key goes left side. Eilerman back over to Ruin camp playing a little pitch and catch. Ruin camp going to go left side. Mauer Mauer shot fakes gets a ball screen. He has Camden Reese on the lengthy strong junior guard. They're playing very tight on him too. I think we talked about in the pregame. He'll be patient here on offense tonight. Expect low scoring and to capitalize on the opportunities. Eilerman takes the shot off the mark. Rebound Reese. Reese up ahead to Mullenhauer. Mullenhauer can't quite put it in. Mullenhauer gets his own rebound. Shot is good. And our first score of the game goes to Jackson Center. They lead 2 0 on our first National Bank. Think first scoreboard. Jace Mullenhauer opens up the scoring with five and a half here remaining. Two nothing Jackson Center. Right side Maurer. Maurer gets a ball screen. He likes to penetrate when he can get to the basket. But Jackson Center playing just so tight right now. Yeah. Again, they're on that motion. Pick to the ball. They know what's coming. Worman to the basket, great kisses move. it off the glass. And like you said, John, great move by the junior, Aiden Worman. Follow up by Ratterman. Or follow up by Ratterman, excuse me. Still a heck of a move. Yes, heck of a move as he missed on the inside and cleaned up there. As I looked at my sheet too quickly and see the cleanup, knotted up at two. Right side, Mullenhauer. Mullenhauer goes over to Fark. Fark shot fakes on the inside to the basket. Nice move by Nolan Fark with the two there. Lumbry's bringing it right back up the floor here, too. And that's a good point. You know, they, they push the ball, pushing the tempo, not trying to get Jackson Center set in that patented Jackson Center defense. Jackson is on them. There is no room here at all. Rotterman, left side, Mauer. 4.20 to go here. 4 to 2, Jackson Center. Larmy looking to tie or take the lead. Eilerman hands the ball in the exchange to Rune Camp. Rune Camp looking to penetrate. It's got a lane to the basket. And we're nodded right back up at 4 to 4 on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Patience pays off there. You know you're patient. You get the lane and then you go to the basket. You can take the high percentage shot. Nodded up at 4 halfway through the period. Reese left side, gives up over to Mullenhauer. Mullenhauer right side, regular. He takes the three off the mark. Rebound battle, and it's going to stay with Jackson Center. That was a foul on Ruin Camp. Him and I believe that was Nolan Fart got tangled up there. Ruin Camp had a little foul trouble in their first matchup, too. He needs to stay out there. He's a great part of this team. John Lucas. Kellen Riker in the lineup. He missed the last contest against these two. On the inbound, Reese steps on the baseline. That'll be a Jackson Center turnover. And he had a nice clean lane to the basket there if he would have just turned around. Yeah, that's so tough when you turn it over right there on your side too. Mauer, left side looking to penetrate, kicks out Rotterman. 3.33 remaining here in the first quarter. Mauer just kicks it back out. There and we got a look. Larmy with a little bit of control here in the first quarter. Yet to lead yet in the brief first four and a half minutes of this contest. Worman dribbling, dribbling, gets a ball screen. Rotterman, he's got the slide to the basket. Rotterman puts it in. That's three consecutive possessions for Fort Larmy with the bucket. You got Lormy leading here six to four. And again, patience for them is what is working. Four points from Isaac Rotterman, and they lead six to four on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. And we got a foul on the aforementioned Rotterman. Yep. And I think he's saying he grabbed, he grabbed the Jackson center player on the inside. Right down the lane. They got some suds coming in. And in is Ryan Holscher and Darren Eilerman both making their first appearances of the night. Riker inbounds right side. Fark just stays in, gets it over to Riker, but Riker was on the baseline. 
third Jackson Center turnover of the period. Past few possessions, Jackson struggling to inbound that ball, John. Yeah, it is. That's good defense by Lormy here. I like on this offensive set, now they're bringing it back to that motion here. Rune that last one, they were open. Rune camp over to Eilerman. Eilerman left side. Mauer gives it back up over to Darren Eilerman. Holscher back over to Logan Eilerman. On the exchange, Ruin camp. 6 to 4, Larmy leading with 2.28 to go here on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Mauer gives up Eilerman left side, gives up over to Holscher, an unsuspecting Holscher. Gets around the ball screen. Holscher penetrating the basket, and it's fouled, and we'll go to the line for a pair of free throws. It's a good drive by him right there. That guy came off, and he took advantage of it. Absolutely, and that's what you're trying to do with this weave motion offense is to take a look on our winner quality meets replay. Yeah, again, he comes right into that middle lane too, so he can square up on that basket, not taking it too far to the right or the left. Lyman, a pair of, or excuse me, Holscher, a pair of free throws, cannot connect on the first one. Substitutions in the lineup for both teams. Bryson Roberts, a 5'11 junior in for Jackson Center, and in for Fort Larmy is number 30, Ethan Kaiser, a junior. Yep, he is a junior, 5'11 junior. Holscher, dips and knees, fires and got it. 7-4, Fort Larmy ahead on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Jackson Center, a little offensive drought here in the past few possessions. Roberts, left side, Fart. Goes up over to Reese, tipped out off of Maurer, will stay with the Tigers. You know, again, we say this in the beginning of the game. They're going to run through their offense. The question is, when are they going to have somebody step up and score here, too? And that's the key thing, too. I think they want to lull you to sleep and wide there open. It is. Like I said, lull you to sleep. Oh. And the three pointer's no good. Marmy on the rebound there. Go, JC! And like I said, lull you to sleep right there and wide open. It was Fark <laughs> on the left side and could not can that wide open three. 7-4 Redskins with 137 remaining here in the first period. Nice jump shot, Maurer, and that just looked so crisp yeah, did. from the beginning. He's got a smooth shot. Again, he hangs out there on that top of the key and coming in hot. Boy, that just looks so good. It's just one time you know you take a look and you know that shot looks good. Yeah. And ball tipped out of bounds by the Redskins. 119 to go, 9-4 Redskin lead. Reichert the inbounder. We can go through the offense here. Patient gives it in backcourt over to Roberts. Had to throw it in on a relief though. Reese looking for a teammate. Dribbling, dribbling, right side Fark. Fark looking to make a move to the basket, looking for a teammate to get open. Fark dribble, picks it up. He's got to get the count off and goes over to Regula. Regular left side over to Reese. Reese going to reset the offense. These coaches have battled here for eight years. It's a good job by Holscher stepping out on that. Left side, Reese. Reese over to Fark. Fark shot fakes on the over, anticipating Larmy defense, but fouled on his way to the basket. Uh -huh. That's Ty Ruinkamp. That'll be his second, team's third. I think you mentioned it, John. Rune Camp was in foul trouble that, that last game. He looks like he's going to be subbed out right here. Never going to knock on a kid for good aggression there, but you need him to stay on the floor. Lormy does in that situation. Jackson needs to score on this inbounds. Inbounds, key opportunity to score. Cross court pass. Roberts, he got the triple try. Bullseye. Bryson Roberts steps up and drains a three pointer from the corner, and Jackson Center trails 9 to 7 on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Time's ticking down here. We are at nine to seven. I don't know if they're just gonna let this run a call for a one play here. And you think the arrow favors the Redskins in, in case of a tie up, so they'd start the second quarter with the ball. So favorable situation for Coach Britton to call that. That's a, that's a good point, John. Five seconds. Looks yeah, like it's gonna be a- He just pulled. Yep. Iso for Mauer, step around, shot off the mark, rebound time expires in the first quarter. As we go through here, our score is Fort Army 9, Jackson Center 7. We'll take a break. We'll come back with the second quarter of action here next on NK Selco Sports. 
First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge-free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Back here at Fort Laramie High School, after one quarter of play, the Redskins lead the Jackson Center Tigers 9-7 to in. I and mean, like we said, it's a low-scoring defensive battle. It's what we expected so far, John. That is correct. Right now, Laramie's got the ball on the side out here. We're looking to have them come back in. Isaac Ratterman's back of the game. I think he's going to be a big factor here if we can keep him on the floor. Jackson, again, with their defense, is fantastic, holding them down. Kaiser gets the ball up right side over to Holscher. Holscher over to Worman. Worman going to come back out left side over to Maurer. Maurer going to come back near the middle of the tip of the Redskin logo. Maurer left side over to Worman. Worman looks for a cut on the inside in the corner. It's Kaiser. Kaiser's got it. That's he nails it from the Ethan. corner. Yep. A great shot by Ethan. He hung out there for a while and again had his hip set to check that ball. Our score now, 12-7 Fort Laramie on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Regula drives right side, cut off, kicks it in the corner, over to Riker. Riker on the inside to Reese, he powers down, shot well short, and rebound rebounded by Laramie. Laramie trying to push up the head, a little too aggressive there, uh, second Fort Laramie turnover of the night. But Larmy dominating the rebound battle, winning the turnover battle right now. It's mm -hmm. been really the thing, the little things you want to do in this game, Larmy has controlled so far. Jackson's controlling their own destiny here. They just have to get this ball on the shot selection that's comfortable for them. Try to get a slip to the basket on the inside. It's, uh, we'll see, there's a scrum for the ball. Who's got it? It is a, I believe they're calling jump ball. It'll stay with the Tigers. That's Logan Eilerman back in the lineup for the Fort Army Redskins. Jackson Center struggled inbounding, struggled inbounding that ball. A couple turnovers off it so far. Ball on the inside, regular. Trying to use the strength, he's blocked on the inside. Great block by Logan right there. Good transition here with Worman. Maurer transition, got it. That was so smooth by Caleb Maurer. He hits it 15-7 Redskins on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Quickly up ahead of the Tigers and a little bit of an offensive drought. 6-0 Redskins to start the quarter on a run and nearly a turnover. Reese got bailed out. John Fortunate right there. That could have been an easy Army transition bucket. Yeah, that was right in the hands of Ethan, but he's in the right spot. That's going to come to him at some particular point. Jackson's doing a good job of moving the ball. They're looking for an open guy, but they are having some issues here. Jace Mullenhauer and Nolan Park in the lineup. I expected them to get it right to Mullenhauer. I was right. And shot no good there on the inside, and Army with another board. Right side, Eilerman, 15 to seven Redskins here, dominating second quarter as they have a 6-0 advantage. There's nothing they need to change at this particular moment. They're doing a great job of moving the ball and rotating. Again, they're back with just their normal offense. That might be a small special here. Try to get it on the inside, and that's a Fort Army turnover. Their third of the game. It's regular, driving on the inside of the basket. Got to make something happen. Shot no good. Weak side rebound. Mullenauer and Mullenauer sticks it back in. And Jackson breaks the Fort Larmy uh, run there. Yeah, they do. They do. That's a good follow-up with Mullenauer. Jace with four on the night. Five and a half remaining here in the second quarter. Ball screen. Eilerman slips to the basket, trying to take advantage on the inside, and he's got it. That Fort Larmy offense has been electric here lately. I don't know if I fault Jackson there for doubling Caleb on that, but that doesn't have a good rotation over to get Logan. And they hedge that ball screen. 
and just get lost in the slip there to the basket. Roberts left side over to Fark. Fark Roberts sent back up over to number 13, Xavier Esser in the lineup for the first time. Three, no good. Rattles around offensive board by Jackson Center. On the inside, Mullenauer to the basket, and that's on the floor. That foul's going to be on Aiden Werman. I think he used his hands to come down on the player there. I think that's what they're saying. His body was square. You know, that's a, that's a call that can go either way. I think there, it's the 14 foul on the Redskins. Carson Regula out of the lineup. Back in is Camden Reese. On the inside, they try to get it to Mullenauer, but when Roberts hit it, he stepped on the line. And another turnover on Jackson Center. It's four for the day is what I got on my stat sheet in, here. Yeah, three of them have come out of inbounds plays. Yeah. They've struggled inbounding the ball, which a lot of times is your prime opportunity to score. <laughs> That's very true. Very true. Lormy doing a good job here rotating it. Jackson's still playing great defense. Top of the key. Goes over in the corner to Maurer. Lormy with an eight-point lead. Rotterman looking for options. Right side, Worman. Worman looking to go to the basket. Spins on the inside out to Maurer. Maurer triple try. Got it! Kayla Maurer, big three. We got a timeout by Coach Scott Elkert. We'll take it with them. All timeouts brought to you by Precision Strip. Our score, Fort Army 20, Jackson Center 9. We'll be back right after this on NK Tucker Sports. All Glaze and Sydney Audiology are committed to providing the most advanced and affordable hearing care solutions. Did you know that more and more insurances are offering coverage for hearing needs and that we are the most comprehensive provider in the area? Because we want to serve all in our community, we partner with agencies such as Medicaid, OOD, Sertoma, and most recently the VA, helping our veterans find local solutions to their problems. Don't leave unused benefits on the table this year. Call us today to see if you qualify. And take a look here at the Jackson Center cheerleaders out of our precision strip timeout and 20 to nine Fort Laramie lead over Jackson Center and John the second quarter has turned on its head. It's an 11 to two Laramie advantage and they can't miss. I think the best thing that's happening here, Laramie coming down when they're running these specials, they're coming out of their set offense. So everybody again is thinking that they're going to be consistent with this offense and just doing the pass motion, pick the ball. And Jackson's falling asleep on the defensive side. And offensively, Jackson got to be more aggressive and get that ball in the hole. Those are good points there, and Larmy just hot shooting their three of five from beyond the arc. They, they've got open looks, and they've got high percentage looks out of this offense. With ooh, a little over four minutes remaining here till halftime. Reese goes left side. That ball's tipped out of bounds. Will stay with the Tigers. That's good Shelby County defense right there. Coach Elker, really the, what we call the dean of Shelby County basketball, always prides himself <laughs> on good defense. You know, one of the one of the most stand-up guys, and he's an intense coach, but he's an even better person. Always relatable and willing to talk to us announcers whenever we have a question. And he's a guy that you know you want to you want to play for. Yeah, these kids are fundamentally doing everything they're supposed to do here. Now we got to get somebody to come out of that box, and not there, in that manner. There's another Jackson Center turnover, their fifth of the night into the lineup for the first time is 6-1 senior Ryan Saylor. As Esser will go out the lineup and in is Lucas Hartle, a 5-10 sophomore. Army with a chance to extend this double-digit lead, 20-9. Werman will clear out Holscher. Worman trying to look for the slip on the inside, goes over to Logan Island, and left side, Ryan Holscher. Holscher trying to slip to the basket. Goes up over to Rotterman, right through his hands, and that's gonna be an over and back violation. Jackson's doing a good job of when you have that screen come off of there, they are taking that man, they're almost triple teaming him. So they wanna stop that ball. That's what we call, like you call hedging the ball screen there. Very and true. And that's a good point. Very much so to try to deny that guy to the basket. You see Rotterman do it right there. Left side, Camden Reese trying to get a basket here for the Tigers and just falls out. And no, oh, they're going to call a charge, actually. That charge taken by Kayla Maurer, and that's a Jackson Center turnover. Foul is on Reese. That Foul on Camden Reese as we take a look at our winner quality meets replay. Well, I tell you what, that's, that's a tough call. I mean, that one could go either way. 
It's like they say with defensive pass interference. <laughs> Those two things are the hardest to call in all sports. A charge <laughs> and a pass interference. Holscher dribbles over to the right side, over to Werman. Werman back over to Holscher. Holscher back over to Werman. Werman cutting, trying to get on the inside, on the exchange to Maurer. 2.49 to go here in the half. Army nursing an 11-point lead, an 11-2 advantage in the stanza. Left side, Werman. Werman trying to cut on the inside. Werman dribbles, comes back out over to Maurer. Maurer trying to get on the inside, but turned it over. That's the fifth Redskin turnover of the night. Quarter, Fourth this quarter, too. Again, they don't need to push anything right now. They need to run through that offense. Now, Jackson needs to get a score here. Bartle brings up over across the timeline. He's calling for a Cameron Reese to come get the ball. Puts it back over to Fark. Fark left side Roberts. Or Sailor, excuse me. Sailor, back over to left side. Ball works it over to Fark. Fark shot fakes in the corner. Hardle back over to Fark, playing a little pitch and catch with each other. Army Fark. staying off of that, giving them plenty of room here. They get to hit a shot, and they call a foul away from the ball. That foul going to be on Ryan Holscher, his fifth. Foul Ryan Holscher, that's his first. First, first yep. 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 Ball being inbounded under the basket. Again, they've got to throw to that release. Nearly picked off. Reese gets it on the inside in the corner. Hartle, Hartle pulls the trigger, and well long. Rebounded by Fort Army. On the inside, that ball turned over. Yep. What a play. Jackson coming right back down the floor. Jackson pushing it up ahead. Hartle to the basket, blocked. And that ball's being brought up here by Fort Army, left side. Mauer three off the mark. Rebounded by the Tigers. Reese up over to Sailor. Sailor to Fark. 120 going here. Only two points from Jackson Center this quarter. Really don't have anybody in tremendous foul trouble at this point. So everybody can play some good hard defense. Only eight fouls called this half. Tyre Camp with two for Fort Larmy. The only one with any sort of foul trouble. As Sailor gets the ball back up over to Fark. Fark shot fakes on the inside. Kicks it out. Mullenhauer three off the mark. Tough sledding first half and a foul in the backcourt on Jackson Center. A foul's going to go on Camden Reese, his second. And for Jackson Center, Carson Regula and Bryson Roberts and Ethan Kaiser in for the Redskins. 53 seconds here. I would, I dare say that Lormy's probably just going to widen this down and just go for one shot. 48 seconds to go here in the first half. We play with kind of lights dimmed here too this whole first half. I'm surprised <laughs> nobody said anything after the starting lineups. You, you know, it's it's you all about the atmosphere here. Exactly. They're playing it. No complaints from either side. <laughs> you get one we got Coach Britt getting corner. on the floor here. Everybody's in, <laughs> into this game. They have the arrow favoring them after halftime, so wise move here by Coach Britton. So hold on to the ball here and take at least an 11 point lead in the half, if not greater, if they can convert on this possession. Usually this is just a one-on-one -on -one game here from Lormy. Maurer gets a ball screen. Kaiser tries to roll off it. Looks like it could be an ISO for Maurer. Maurer, right wing off balance shot, well short at the horn. And that'll conclude our first half. The Fort Lormy Redskins lead the Jackson Center Tigers 20 to nine. We'll take a break. Come back with our stats and recap in the second half of action here next on NK Telco Sports. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional.
We are here and here and here. Minster Bank is everywhere, providing every banking service that you need to keep your financial life in order. Whether you are on the go or stopping by one of our branches, Minster Bank is here for you. We proudly support the communities where you live. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Winners Meats, quality meats for four generations. Hoagie Lumber, Hilsman Automotive. Are you looking for a new career with amazing growth potential? Needec Press and Automation is hiring for many positions right now. Needec is a global company that is growing with its sights on being a billion dollar company. Machinists, service technicians, human resource personnel, IT specialists, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, and many more. The opportunities abound at Needec Press and Automation. Go to MinsterJobs.com now to get started on your new career with Needec. Needec Minster. Clope. Keyhole Pizza. Back here at Fort Laramie High School, here after one half of play, the Fort Laramie Redskins lead the Jackson Center Tigers 20 to nine. Let's take a look at our Wagner's IGA stats and recap here. And here with the recap, Mr. John McCumber. You got Jackson Center on the field goals going four for 15, three point wise, they're one for six. Now, free throws have not shot any yet. That's discouraging. Rebounds, five, turnovers, six. Now back into the Fort Laramie side of things. They are eight for 15, going 50% at three point range. Free throws the same, one of two. They've got nine rebounds and each team's matching here with six turnovers. Yeah, and it's, you know, a, a really good first half. A second quarter in particular, Army was nine to seven after one quarter yep. of play and Army really turned on the Jets. You know, they're, they're shooting above 50% and anytime you're shooting over 50%, you gotta feel pretty good about yourself. Jacks did a great job there before the half stopping them as we all knew that they were gonna come out in that single set. You know, that's got to be a win for them, and they got to build on that. It'd be neat to see here what they're going to come. They're going to get some more different sets themselves, Jackson, to get the ball in the hole. And, you know, Jackson's going to struggle with inbounding the ball there, and they had about half their turnovers off just trying to inbound the ball. Yeah, yeah, and that's discouraging, you know. you got those sets, and you're working on those tremendously at practice. You know those kids are coached well, and they're just having a moment. Taking a look at our scoring from the first half for Jackson Center, two for Nolan Fark, four for Jace Mullenhauer, and three for Bryson Roberts for Fort Army, six from Caleb Mauer, two from Ty Camp, two from Logan Eilerman, three from Ethan Kaiser, one from Ryan Holscher, and four from Isaac Rotterman. As we begin our second half of play here at Fort Army High School, drive on the inside. Ball's given up to Ty Camp. Loon camp on the inside, gets up over to Maurer. Maurer gonna pull the trigger, in and out. Clean look from the top of the key. Rebound Jackson there, coming hot off that. So a big break for Jackson Center to catch at the beginning of the second half. Possibly being down 14, Regula on the inside. Carson Regula's got it. It's a great drive and that's what they needed. Let's build on that, get them back in this game. 20 to 11, Fort Laramie on our first national bank. Think first to open in one possession. Jackson's got as many points this quarter as they did last. You know the Tigers are not gonna go away quietly. This is gonna be a tight ball game despite trailing by double digits at the halftime break. Army's running a nice set here again. Good defense by Jackson. They're trying to take any win that Jackson Center might have gotten their sales after that last play. That five point swing. Let's go, let's go. Mauer, right side, gets a ball screen. Mauer flips it over to Logan Eilerman. Eilerman back up over to Rune Camp. Rune Camp top of the key over to Rotterman. Four points in the first half for the junior. Rotterman on the exchange for his classmate Warman. Cross court pass leaking in the corner. Mauer shot fakes inside all alone. Jumper is oh so smooth by Kayla Mauer. He's got eight now. He shook him quite well and had plenty of room to get up in the air on that shot, but I don't think many kids are gonna get up that high with him. Nice skip pass in the corner to create room for Mauer. Right side, it is Mullenhauer. Mullenhauer looking to drive to the basket over to Regula. Regula left side over to Fark. Fark looking through the options. Fark being patient, 
Looking for a teammate. Goes in the corner to Camden Reese. Reese left side. Dribbles over to his right. Over to Regula. 6.03 remaining here in the third quarter. 22-11 Redskins over Jackson Center. Jump shot. And that's off the mark. Mullenhauer skies in for the offensive board. Mullenhauer trying to pirouette the sideline. And he could not stay in. That's a Jackson Center turnover on that play. Seventh turnover of the night for Jackson Center. It's a good rebound. We would expect a little bit more from Jackson Center right now, and I know they're going to change that around here. Warman gets it, talking to from his coach, Corey Britton, on what to run here. Room camp over to Eilerman. Eilerman left side, Worman. Worman going through his offense over to Rotterman. Right side, goes back up over to Mauer. Mauer swing pass in the corner to Room camp. Ball pinballs around, down to Worman, and almost a turnover, but there's a foul called. A foul going to go on Ladies number four, Nolan Fark. That is the first team foul the on the Tigers. Already inbounded under the Redskins in basket. Worman looking to go through to Mauer. Worman telling Mauer to clear out here. Mauer right side goes up over to Island and left side to Worman. Worman through the offense back over to Rotterman. Right side Ruin Camp. Ruin Camp ball screen from Rotterman. Goes over to Eilerman. Redskins being very patient in this possession. Jackson doing a good job getting their hands up on defense here. Playing good defense on the ground too, not jumping. Warmy's crisp on their offense. Left side goes over to Ty Ruin Camp. Top of the key. Rotterman scrum for the ball. Who's going to come away with it? And it's going to fall on Regula. Great effort by Regula, but does not result in a turnover. Stays here with the Redskins. Nice tip out of bounds, but still stays Redskin ball. Great effort by Regula. Worman goes right side, goes over to Ty Rune Camp. Rune Camp over to Worman. On the inside, Rotterman all alone lays it in for Isaac the Fort Martin score. score. Isaac sealed him off as soon as that penetration occurred and knew his man was up top. 24-11 Fort Army on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Right side, Fark. Fark going to try to drive back middle. Gives it up over to Camden Reese. Reese left side to Mullenauer. Mullenauer looking on the inside for Reese. Left side back to Riker. He's out near the Fort Army logo at the white volleyball line. Mullenauer directing traffic out there. Goes left side, miscommunication with Fark. And it is a Jackson Center Tiger turnover. To this half for him. Eight turnovers now for the Redskins, or excuse me, for the Tigers. Halfway through this third period, it's been four points for Army, two for the Jackson Center. Left side, Caleb Maurer. Maurer trying to drive to the basket. Gets the ball up over to Logan Eilerman. Eilerman to the basket, leaves the bunny shot short. The off-balance layup is no good. And on the inside, Mullenhauer shot no good. And that tipped off of Jackson Center. And no foul called there on the inside. Didn't see really much contact. Thought it was just really regular contact on the inside. Yeah. I, he's got a case to plead here. If anything, they need to hear this, because Jackson's still in this game. They need to make sure that their players are seeing their coaches are fighting for him, too. And the fans behind us. <laughs> And you know, when, when you're down by 13, you know, Jackson, we know is a good team. Just try and get a call, try and get something to get your team fired up. You know, I, you know why Coach Elker is going to be talking to the officials, trying to get something, you know, to try to plant a seed for his team to, to get fired back up and try to get back in this ball game. Down by 13. They need a good stop here. Nothing like a good defensive stop. Left side, Werman. Werman looking for his options. Driving on the inside, Werman in the basket. Off balance, shot is no good. Pinballs around on the inside, Mauer. Mauer triple try, bullseye! Caleb Mauer, shot is good. And Mauer's got rebound. 11, or, or 13. Great rebound by Lormy on that. Excellent drive by Werman. Baker's dozen for Worm, or excuse me, by Mauer tonight. 13 for him. Timeout by Coach Scott Elkert. We'll take it with them. All timeouts brought to you by Precision Strip. It's 2.45 to go here in the third quarter. Our score, Jackson Center 11, Fort Army 27. We're back here right after this on NK Tech Sports. 
your career to new heights with Crown, an innovative global leader in the material handling industry with over a 75 year history of growth and success. We're seeking career minded candidates for a wide variety of entry level and skilled positions in our new Bremen, New Knoxville, Salina, Minster and other US locations. Visit crown.jobs to apply or find us on social media by searching careers at Crown. Minster Bank. Back here at Fort Marmee High School, 2.45 remaining in the third quarter. Our score, Fort Marmee 27, Jackson Center 11. I'd like to thank our sponsors tonight. They are Crown Equipment Corporation, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winners Meats, Sydney Agres Audiology, Precision Strip, Wagner's IGA and NK Tokyo. You can follow WCSM AM 1350, 96.7 FM, and their internet exclusive games on www.wcsmradio.com. All season long, your sports leader in Mercer and Agles County. As we get going here, right out the timeout, and that's exactly what Coach Elkert wanted, uh, John. Carson Regular got after his guys on that timeout as well when they came back on the floor. That's good to see. That's great leadership. And absolutely there, and that's what Coach Elkert so well, accountability, getting into his guys the right way. And you always admire a coach like Coach Elkert. They do things the right way at Jackson Center and trying to get a stop here out of the, the timeout. Mauer goes out to Kaiser. Kaiser at the tip of the Redskin logo. Back out to Mauer as they weave through the offense. Patience, the name of the game is we got 10 minutes in regulation. Bryson Roberts at the scoring table for the Tigers. Ty Ruin Camp coming through there. And a little bit of foul trouble that first half of Ruin Camp. Right side, it's Mauer. Goes back up over to Worman. Worman will dribble back left side. Goes back and around. Comes back on the inside. Gets ball over to Kaiser. Kaiser three and out. And that shot's no good. Rebound by the Tigers. In transition regular. Tigers need it. And the shot is no good. And it's a foul on Mullenauer. Jackson struggled to shoot the three here tonight. Can't fault regular for taking that shot, though, because, again, they need those points. First. Foul by Mullenhauer, second on the Tigers in this half. Kellen Riker out the game, Bryson Roberts in. Coach Elker does such a good job coaching his guys up as soon as they come off that court. Well, we're gonna spread things out, the three across near the half court logo, and there's a foul on Camden Reese. He reached on the inside. That's a little too much I contact. Got. What's that? That's his third, I yeah. guess. Too so much contact reaching in there on the inside. You gotta give a little space there. You can be physical, but you bump that body. That's gonna be called every time, and that's a third on Reese. 112 left in the third here. Let's see, boys. We need Jackson to step up here. 106 to go here in the third quarter. Mauer to the basket. Wide open. That's gonna be a foul on the Tigers. He must have grabbed the hand away from the ball. That foul's gonna go on Nolan Fark. Foul's on Fark, that's his second team. Second four. foul for Fark. Fourth foul on the Tigers. Redskins trying to extend their 14 point lead. Kaiser will go retrieve it in backcourt. It's good inbound defense by Jackson. Build on that here. Steve Hill forward, the Tigers to climb. It's a 7 4 scoring advantage this quarter for the Redskins. Worman, they're going through, trying to get past. Lucas Hartle on the exchange room camp. You think Larmy's again draining clock here. Yeah. Possibly, but as I say that, Ruin Camp to the basket. Ty Ruin Camp with the big bucket. Four points for Ty and 29 13 Fort Larmy on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Left side, Bark. Bark goes up over to Mullenauer. Right side. Ball on the inside. This is a foul on the floor. As Regulus going to the basket using his strength. Foul's on Caleb Mauer, that's his first team. Foul going to be on Mauer, his first. Not a lot of foul trouble on the Redskins side. Ryan Holscher in. Ryan Holscher Mauer a, a brief rest before the fourth quarter burst. So again, as you mentioned, their turnovers are coming on these inbound plays here on their side. Ball is a three, no good by Fark. Long rebound by Kaiser. Oh, 
Ball brought up into the timeline by Werman. Werman goes right side over to Holscher. Holscher gets that ball tipped away. It's stolen by Roberts. Not a lot of time for Jackson. They got to push it up quickly. Foul in the backcourt. That could be an intentional potentially. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and get your 50-50 ticket out after 9-10 to the second. Run up the clock. That's a great heads up move by Werman there. That pushes them to make it out of bounds. That slows it. 0.9 seconds left. Again. And a three-quarter court shot by Hartle, well off the mark. All right. And we'll head to the fourth quarter of action. Our score, Fort Army 29. And Jackson Center 13. We'll be back after this break here next on NK. Until this day. Clope Building Products, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road CDLA driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package, is an equal opportunity employer, and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopedoor.com slash careers. Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable For over one Kogi Plumbing four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. Back here at Fort Laramie High School for the beginning of fourth quarter of basketball. Fort Laramie leads Jackson Center 29-13. We'd like to remind you that NK Soko Sports and Sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of tonight's high school basketball action on NK Soko Channel 3 or on HD on Channel 503. Catch the replays of this game Thursday, January 20th at 5 p.m. and Friday, January 21st at 5 p.m. You can also watch more games on demand through YouTube, Facebook, and at nksoko.com backslash sports. Regular shot well off the mark and the Jackson Center shooting woes continue this quarter. Brandon Coleman here along with John McCumber. I'd say right there at that 16 point deficit there wasn't much to talk about during that halftime. 30 that. second time, yeah, 30 second timeout by, by Coach Britton. Again, I'd like to thank our sponsors. They are Crown Equipment Corporation, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winners Meat, Sydney Ugly's Ideology Precision Strip. He's sponsoring this timeout. Wagner's IGA, NK Toko, followed WCSM AM 1350 96.7 FM in your internet exclusive games on www.wcsmradio.com. All season long, your sports leader in Mercer and Lewis County. Our five-star recruitment sponsors, Crown, and, and our MVP sponsors, Clipe and Nudak. Scoreboard First National Bank, keys to the game, Keo Pizza, replays, winners, meet, starting lineup, Simi Anglais Audiology. This time out's brought to you by Precision Strip, our stats and recap, brought to you by Wagner's IGA, and our player of the game, which John and I will bring you after the game, is brought to you, as always, by NK Telco. Out of that timeout, Redskins looking to get something going here. And that's what they want. Ty Ruinkamp, wide open jump shot. It's great shot selection. Him coming in there too, because they were playing way off of him and making sure he had a clean shot. Commanding 31-13 lead for the Redskins. Coach Britton getting after his squad too. That lead's not big enough. Yeah, don't be complacent. Not only giving up 13 points. You know, this team has played spectacular tonight, and the shooting woes continue for Jackson Center. Army has played a really just nice game overall, offensively and defensively, only 31 points, but man, they capitalized on the limited opportunities they've had to shoot, and Jackson Center always slows you down. And with plays like those, it's really easy. Great Ryan job Holscher. by Holscher, sliding in that backside. Excellent job, Ryan Holscher. Ryan Holscher with three on the night, 33-13 Redskins on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Camden Reese goes out near the volleyball line here. And goes on, gets a back screen, wide open, Fark, and the shooting woes just continue, but a nice play by Regula to stick with it. Rebound Jackson Center here again, that word of the day is score. Reese trying to go on the inside of the basket, using his strong body to get to the basket, and there's a deuce for Jackson Center. Reese cracks the box score. A long 
hill to climb for the Tigers as they start to pressure a little more now. Bit of a zone pressure. Yeah, they're going to have to get that the whole rest of this game here. They near need carry. that ball back. Yep. Near carry by Runecamp. A pitch to the middle. Go right side over to Maurer. Shot fake by Holscher. He drives on the inside and is fouled by Bryson Roberts from behind. Two shots for Ryan Holscher. It's a good drive with him. Again, coming in secure, making sure that he has a good, uh, good Roberts, look. That's his first team fifth. And take a look here on our winner quality meets replay. Holscher on the inside. That ball, ooh, that might have been clean. Close there. Holscher cans the first free throw. We've not had really any free throws shot here tonight. Yep. Holscher was on the line before. Again, this is good driveway time, him. Him putting shots up. Holscher cans the first free throw. He's got four on the night. Holscher two at two from the line. Holscher having a nice night with five, playing his contributing role off the bench. 35-15 Redskins on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Bark getting on the inside, goes over to Regula, and that shot off the mark. Rebound the Army. Rebounded by the Skins. Work it up ahead, and that shot. Taking a Holscher. It's Brian Holscher. Good job running that floor, young man. And you're right there, John. Really come on here lately. Six points in the fourth quarter for Ryan Holscher. And the Redskins getting away with a 22-point lead, playing very well here tonight. Inside regular, nearly walked, puts it up, and is fouled, and will go to the line for a pair of free throws. For the boys' basketball raffle, for the $75 winner for Carson regular at the line. Stewart. Five minutes flat to Bruce, go here. They need both these, and they need a trap as soon as they come off that as well. Ethan Kaiser at the scores table, along with Darren Eilerman to come back in the lineup, and Regulus first shot off the mark. First free throws of the night for the Tigers. Kaiser and Eilerman check in for Ryan Holscher and Isaac Rotterman. Holscher and Rotterman get a round of applause. Both players have played really nice roles for their team tonight. Regula dips the knees, fires, got it. Carson Regula now with three on the night. 37-16 Fort Laramie over Jackson Center on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. They are trapping too. Caleb Maurer goes over, ah. throws the pass right into the Fort Laramie crowd. And that Good is job by Jackson there, getting pressure on him. Eighth Redskin turnover of the night. Both teams have done a pretty well, good job of taking care of the ball. 4.43 here to go. On our first National Bank Think First scoreboard, and we got a foul away from the ball. Is that foul going to go on Mr. Darren Eilerman? He was a little perplexed there when he was looked at with that foul. <laughs> Fourth foul on the Redskins. In this half, both teams couple away from the bonus opportunity. Inbounded by Mullenhauer. Mullenhauer looking to Good get it Good job in. by Warman. And it's turned over by the Tigers. Their ninth of the night. Moon camp up ahead. Goes over to Maurer. Right side, Worman. Worman getting some pressure. It's just going to play pitch and catch with Maurer. Back over to Worman. Worman getting out for the double team. Back over. Whipped on the inside. And it's turned over by the Redskins. Up ahead, it's Reese. Reese on the inside is fouled on the floor. 15 foul on the Redskins. Got that being the third on Mr. Worman there, isn't it? Yep, I believe so. Actually, they're going to say it's the fourth, so. Ryan Holscher will come back in the lineup. As Worman will exit out. Ball inbounded, turn away, turn around, around shot by Farkas off the line. And Rune Camp will bring it up. So in pressure, we got a timeout by Coach Corey Britton. All timeouts brought to you by Precision Strip. We'll take a break here. Our score, Fort Laramie 37, Jackson Center 16. We'll take a break. Come back with the rest of the three minutes, 59 seconds of regulation here next. And then K, it's a good sport. 
For over 150 years, Cargill has been helping people be successful worldwide. Cargill has always done business responsibly and in a way that makes us proud. Whether it is educating farmers in India or providing bikes to students with perfect attendance right here at home, Cargill is helping people thrive. The Sydney plant is just one piece of a global company that provides employment for hundreds of thousands, food for the world, and support for thousands of businesses. Be a part of something great at Cargill.com. Take a look at the Fort Laramie huddle out, outside of the Precision Strip timeout. Our score, Fort Laramie 37, Jackson Center 16, and Brandon Goverman along with John McCumber. And John, new to the NK Telco staff here and on our announcer crew, we're excited to join you into our family of announcers and <laughs> glad to have you along here. I appreciate it. It is a good time. And I love that film study prior to the games. 3.54 to go here in the fourth quarter. And really, it's it's been Redskin domination from the second quarter on. Yeah. Gonna foul on the ball by Fark. Out of a timeout, too. Lormy's coming to right back into that motion offense, not going into their open at that point. And coming into the lineup now is number 23, Logan Eilerman, as Kaiser exits out. Caleb's calling for help here as they're putting pressure on him. Obviously, Jackson's coming with full pressure on both bodies. Now we'll go catch the ball in backcourt and slowly walk it up. Now we're right side. Gets pressure in. Fark going to get a little too handsy there, I believe. And it's Fark. And that will be Fark's fourth foul. And bonus free throws coming up for the Redskins. And into the lineup is number 15, Grant Elker, to 6'1 junior, and getting his first action in the, the ball game. And free throw nailed there by Ty Camp at the line. Larmy has four of five from the charity stripe tonight. And the next free throw made there by Camp. Rune Camp having a solid night with eight points despite early foul trouble. Reese on the inside goes over to Elkert. Elkert in the corner. Goes over on the inside in the short corner to Camden Reese. Kicks it out, Elkert. Elkert passes up on the shot attempt over to Regula and that clanks off the iron. Battle for the ball in the corner. It goes out of bounds and will be Fort Army basketball. Applaud Regular for shooting the ball. Right now he's ice cold at 0 for 6 on threes. He's missing something there, getting coached up, coming off the side. 1 to 12 is Jackson Center from the three-point line, so 8%. That's what that boils down to. Kaiser will come back to the bench. Now goes right side in the short corner, kicked out. Mauer, three, got it! Caleb Mauer with a game-high 16 points, and Larmy probably put the nail in the coffin there, 42-16 Redskins. Left side, Elker, back over to Reese. Reese in the corner, that three is off the mark. Rebound by Elkert, but he stepped on the line. It's gonna be a Jackson center turnover, along with a rebound by Jackson. And we got a wide array of substitutions to keep up with. Kaiser, Werman, Eilerman, Lane Frilling, Ryan Holscher in the lineup. Kellen Reichert back in. And uh, Ryan Saylor in the lineup. Lucas Hartle. An array of substitutions for each team. He did a fantastic job with that. That was a large group of people coming in and out. Eilerman takes the shot. Got it. And he's going to let that hand hang high for the three for Darren Eilerman. His first bucket of the night. And Larmy just can't miss. I only have four misses for them in the second half. They're doing a good job here, that's for sure. Jackson's still playing hard, going through that offense. These kids are not going to quit on you. Reichert shot fakes on the inside of the basket. And one for Kellen Reichert. He's got it. Kellen with his first basket of the night. And it's approaching two minutes to go. 
Reichert will go to the line. Jackson's only shot two free throws throughout the course of this game. They're one to two. As Reichert gets his first bucket of the game and cannot connect on the free throw there, and the Red, Re, Redskins get the rebound. Under two minutes to play, 45-18. Fort Lauren, no one really expecting this. But Jackson Center gonna go to the drawing board. I don't think this, this game can define a team like Jackson Center. Again, like we mentioned before, they both were evenly matched. Shot from the corner, no good there. By just recently entered in Austin Plyman from the three line, no good. It's a miss with Ryan Saylor too, ball rebounded by Jackson. On the inside, Hartle. Hartle the basket is fouled and will go to the line for a pair of free throws for Lucas Hartle. Hartle to the line, a starter. And Hartle tonight, no points yet. And that misses the free throw there. Just a tough night offensively for the Jackson Center Tigers. And that second free throw is good there by Lucas Hartle, 45 19 Army on our first National Bank Think First scoreboard. And that ball stolen temporarily, no. And they're going to call it a travel. Actually, there was on Austin Plyman, a Fort Army turnover. Their 10th of the ball game. So mark this up as the eighth win of the season for the Redskins. In dominating fashion, that will raise some eyebrows for the Shelby County League as Kellen Reichert hits a nice shot from the foul line. But most likely too late for Jackson Center. Lane Frilling's got the ball. Reichert still playing hard. He's ball through the island and the Plyman. Right side, Kaiser. Kaiser gets up screen on the inside. Try to get it to Plyman. Lane Frilling saves it. Frilling, three, and that's off the mark. And there's a foul on Fort Laramie. Foul on Ryan Holscher. That's a good look for him. And Jackson will shoot the one and bonus free throws. Foul's on Holscher, ladies. There ain't foul at the line. Shooting one and one. Hartle. Got some. We got Hartle going to the line here, just at the line a little bit ago. And the free throw, no good there. Rebounded by Plyman. Again, the shooting woes has been tough tonight for the Tigers. And great shooting by the Redskins, really just to find this game. And Two really good teams going at it. I don't think the score tells you um, really about, you know, one team being way better than the other. They're both really good teams. Shot on the inside, no good. Rebounded by the Tigers. Shot no good by Jacks on the inside. They get their own board. Down Lormy, I'd say they're just going to dribble this out. That's a good game. That's a good win for them. In our, final, rebound. In our final score, 45 for Fort Lormy. And 21 for Jackson Center. We'll take a break. Come back with our stats and recap and play of the game here next on NK Tokyo Sports. Kemmler Orthopedic Center is focused on a personalized caring approach to treat all aspects of orthopedics, including total joint replacement, shoulder reconstruction, stem cell injections, and more. Dr. James Kemmler and Jed Cooney, certified PA, are dedicated to providing the best orthopedic care in the Grand Lake region. Kemmler Orthopedic Center has offices located in Salina and Van Wert, along with extended evening hours. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-586-5760. 
Thank you for your patience as we construct a new fiber broadband service in your area. We know that along with this process comes disruption in the easements and right-of-way areas, and we are restoring most areas as we complete them. A few areas will have some utility work installed, so we need to wait for the work to be completed before the lawns can be repaired. We're very close to having the fiber or coax drops cleaned up and replaced with fiber optic drops. Hang in there just a little longer, and we'll have a majority of the new fiber system installed. Back here at Fort Laramie High School where the Fort Laramie Redskins defeat the Jackson Center Tigers 45 to 21. A statement win for the Fort Laramie Redskins getting their eighth win of the season here with our final stats and recap brought to you by Wagner's IGA, Mr. John McCumber. Yes, right now we have uh, Jackson Center at the end of the game with 21 points. Field goals, they were 9 of 33. 1 for 13 for 3 points. That's a big factor in this game. Free throws, 2 for 6. Rebounds, 14. Turnovers, 10. Your winning Fort Laramie Redskins were 17 for 31. And 3, 6 for 14. Free throws, 5 of 6. 8 rebounds and matching again with 10 turnovers. And really tonight, you know, Fort Laramie just dominating from the beginning. It was 9-7 to seven after one quarter of play. And, and right after that, the Redskins just, just took control. And a tough shooting night for the Jackson Center Tigers. Uh, they really struggled uh, get it, trying to get things going. And, and Laramie was spearheaded by our, our player of the game, Caleb Maurer. Caleb had a great game. And like you said there, Jackson in general just had the opportunities. They just didn't get the scores. And that leads us into Caleb, like you mentioned. And he had a great game with 16 points leading that squad out there. And his defense, too, came into play as well. And Larmy gets their eighth win of the season. Jackson drops to 7-5 to and five on the season. As Fort Larmy moves into that third spot in the Shelby County Athletic League right behind league rivals Rushi and Botkins. So that'll do it for us here tonight from Jackson Center. We'd like to thank our crew on the call tonight. In the truck is Scott Robinson along with Xavier Schwartz. And on cameras, Aaron Ritter and Tyler Magato for John McCumber. I'm Brandon Coverman here for the final time from Fort Laramie High School where Fort Laramie Redskins defeat the Jackson Center Tigers 45-21. We'll see you here next time on NK Telco Sports.